Welcome to Global Defense. Ukraine's Air Force has taken a significant step forward in its capabilities with the recent deployment of U.S.-made F-16 fighter jets, now equipped with the cutting-edge Joint Helmet-Mounted Queuing System, JHMCS. This advanced helmet system is designed to give Ukrainian pilots a substantial advantage in their ongoing conflict with Russia. By improving situational awareness and making it easier to engage enemy targets, the JHMCS allows pilots to aim and fire weapons with greater precision, regardless of the direction they're looking. The JHMCS, jointly developed by Israel's Elbit Systems and Collins Aerospace, formerly Rockwell Collins, is already compatible with other advanced aircraft like the F-15 and F-A-18. When paired with the AM-9X Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missile, which Ukraine has also received, this system becomes a formidable tool in aerial combat. This technology replaces traditional windshield indicators, offering a more intuitive and effective targeting system, which is a game-changer in high-stakes scenarios. Ukraine's government, through its United24 fundraising platform, has highlighted the JHMCS as a major advantage for their pilots, emphasizing that Russian forces lack any comparable targeting technology. The introduction of these systems marks a new phase in the development of Ukraine's Air Force, according to the country's defense ministry. The arrival of F-16s in Ukraine has been confirmed by President Volodymyr Zelensky, who praised the skill and dedication of Ukrainian pilots who have rapidly adapted to these new aircraft. Although the introduction of F-16s is not seen as a, a definitive game-changer, it represents a significant upgrade for Ukraine's Air Force, which has been heavily reliant on outdated Soviet aircraft, aircraft throughout the conflict. These new jets are expected to enhance Ukraine's ability to defend against Russian air assaults and to target crucial Russian military assets. However, the risk of these advanced jets being targeted by Russian forces is significant with reports suggesting that Russian soldiers may receive incentives for downing Ukraine's F-16s. To mitigate these risks, it's likely that some of Ukraine's F-16s will be stored at bases outside of the country. This strategy, along with the destruction of Russian air defense systems far behind the front lines, is seen as essential for Ukraine to maximize the effectiveness of these aircraft. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share this with others. Thank you for listening to me.